The 2012–13 season will be Burton Albion's fourth consecutive season in the League Two, having finished 17th in the 2011–12 season. The season marked Gary Rowett's first full season in management with the club, having been appointed on a full-time basis on the 11th of May. His reign started with the club's first ever League Cup victory with a 5-4 penalty defeat of Sheffield United at Bramall Lane. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Key events. Topic: <laughs> May The 9th of May, Albion begin preparations for the new season by releasing five first-team players, James Wren, Christian Ramsey-Dixon, Danny Blanchett, Andres Gurrieri and Patrick Ada. Jack Dyer and Ardi Youssef both sign one-year contract extensions. The 11th of May, Gary Rowett is announced as the club's full-time manager following a spell in caretaker charge alongside Kevin Poole, who is retained as goalkeeping coach. The 15th of May, Albion release four more players, Adam Boulder, Ryan Austin, Tony James and Greg Pearson, whilst Nathan Stanton and Aaron Webster both sign one-year contract extensions. The 18th of May, Albion unveil Kevin Summerfield as the club's new assistant manager. The 24th of May, Rowett names former Swindon Town scout Paul Molesworth as the club's chief scout. The 24th of May, Rowett makes his first move in the transfer market by signing ex Tranmere Rovers midfielder Robbie Weir on a free transfer. The 23 year old Northern Irishman joins on a two year deal. Topic June the 5th of June, Scotsman Xander Diamond becomes Albion's second summer signing, joining on a free transfer for Oldham Athletic. The 13th of June, round one of the 2012-13 League Cup is drawn. For the fourth successive year, Albion are drawn away from home, this time against Sheffield United. The 18th of June, the fixtures for the League Two 2012-13 season are released. Albion's first game is against Rotherham United in the first game ever played at the New York Stadium. The 27th of June, Albion's third signing of the summer is left back Damian McCrory. The former Dagenham and Redbridge defender signs a two-year contract with the Brewers. Topic: <laughs> July The 16th of July, Albion signed former Rochdale defender Marcus Holness on a two-year deal. The 27th of July, Albion complete a double deal to sign goalkeepers Dean Lyness and Ross Atkins. Lyness joins on a free transfer from Kidderminster Harriers whilst Atkins returns to the club for a second season-long loan spell from Derby County. The 31st of July, Albion re-sign midfielder Lee Bell on a free transfer from recently promoted Crew Alexandra. Bell has had two previous loan spells with the Brewers and signs a one-year contract. Topic: <laughs> August. The 11th of August, Albion begin the season with a 5-4 penalty shootout defeat of Sheffield United, after a 2-2 draw during normal time. This represented the club's first ever victory in a League Cup game. Ardi Youssef scores the club's first goal of the season. The 15th of August, round 2 of the 2012-13 League Cup is drawn. Albion are again drawn away from home, this time against Leicester City. Albion also complete the signings of striker Matt Patterson on a free transfer from Southend United and defender Anthony O'Connor on a one-month loan deal from Blackburn Rovers. The 18th of August, Albion begin their League 2 by being defeated 3-0 by Rotherham United. Round 1 of the 2012-13 John Stones Paint Trophy is drawn. Albion are drawn away from home against recently relegated Coventry City. 
The 28th of August, Albion continue their League Cup success with a 4-2 away victory over Leicester City at the King Power Stadium. The Brewers will be competing in the third round of the competition for the first time. The 30th of August, round 3 of the 2012-13 League Cup is drawn. For the sixth consecutive game in the competition Albion are drawn away from home. This time the opposition will be Bradford City. Also on this day, Billy Key puts pen to paper on a new three-year contract, that will see him stay with the club until 2015. <laughs> September The 3rd of September, Billy Key is called up to the Northern Ireland under-21 side for the under-21 European Championship qualifying games against Macedonia and Denmark. The 4th of September, Albion are knocked out of the Johnstones Paint Trophy by Coventry City after a 10-9 penalty shootout defeat. The Brewers had held the League One side to a 0–0 during the 90 minutes, but missed penalties from Marcus Holness and Dean Lyness left the club still without a win in the competition after four years of trying. 7 September, Albion sign goalkeeper Stuart Tomlinson on a four-month deal from local rivals Port Vale. 12 September, fullback Anthony O'Connor's loan deal is extended by five months to 31 January 2013. 14 September, Academy graduates Evan Garnett and Jack Green signed three-month loan deals with Hucknall Town. 25 September, Albion are knocked out of the League Cup in the third round by Bradford City. The Brewers lose 3-2 after extra time despite leading the game going into the 90th minute. The 28th of September, Gary Rowett makes completes the emergency loan signings of Rob Kiernan and Luke Rooney on one-month deals from Wigan Athletic and Swindon Town respectively. Topic: October The 18th of October, BBC Sport announced the findings of their Price of Football survey, with Burton being named as the cheapest place to watch football in Empower League 2. Gillingham are named as the most expensive for the season. The 21st of October, the first round proper of the FA Cup is drawn. Burton are given a home tie against Conference North side Altrincham. The game will be played on Sunday 4 November due to a stewarding clash with the Derby County home fixture against Blackpool on Saturday 3 November. 23 October, Albion sign winger Jordan Chappell on an emergency one-month loan deal from Sheffield United. The new signing makes an immediate impact later in the day by marking his debut appearance with a goal against Port Vale. Albion also announced that the away fixture with Plymouth Argyle at Home Park is to be delayed by 24 hours to Wednesday 7 November due to both clubs' participation in the FA Cup. 26 October, the Brewers sign goalkeeper Mark Oxley on a one-month loan deal from Hull City following injuries to regular keeper Stuart Tomlinson and deputy Ross Atkins. Also on this day striker Matt Patterson signs a six-month extension to his current deal to see him through to the end of the season. <laughs> November The 4th of November, the second round proper of the FA Cup is drawn. Burton are given an away tie against Crew Alexandra. However they will first have to overcome Altrincham in a first round replay on 13 November at Moss Lane, having only managed a 3-3 draw against their conference North opponents at home. 15 November, Burton confirm their place in the second round of the FA Cup with a 2-0 over Altrincham at Moss Lane, setting up an away tie with Crew Alexandra at Gresty Road. The club also announced that local businessman Ian English makes his return to the board of directors. 
The 20th of November, the Brewers take 20-year-old striker Jacob Blythe on a loan deal from Leicester City until the 12th of January 2013. The 21st of November, Jordan Chappell's loan spell from Sheffield United is extended by a further month. This will see the midfielder stay with the Brewers until the 23rd of December. Topic: December. The 1st of December, the Brewers defeat Crew Alexandra 1-0 in the second round proper of the FA Cup at the Alexandra Stadium. The Brewers will now play in the third round proper for the first time in two seasons. The 2nd of December, the third round proper of the FA Cup is drawn. In a repeat of the second round of the Capital One Cup, the Brewers are drawn away at championship side Leicester City. The 4th of December, Sheffield United loanee Jordan Chappell is recalled from his loan spell with the Brewers by his parent club. The winger had originally been due to stay with the Brewers until 23 December. Topic. Squad statistics Topic: Appearances and goals As of 10 December 2012 Top scorers As of the 10th of December 2012. Topic: Disciplinary record. As of the 10th of December 2012. Topic: Match day squads. Topic League Two One first substitution, two second substitution, three third substitution. Topic FA Cup One first substitution, two second substitution, three third substitution. Topic League Cup One first substitution, two second substitution, three third substitution. Topic Football League Trophy One first substitution, two second substitution, three third substitution. Topic Club Topic Coaching and Medical Staff Last updated the twenty second of August twenty twelve. Source one includes staff currently registered with club only. Gary Rowett was named as the club's permanent manager on the 11th of May 2012, becoming the 30th manager in the club's history. This followed his tenure as caretaker manager after the sacking of the previous manager Paul Pesciolido. Kevin Poole and Mark Sale were retained in their respective roles as goalkeeping coach and youth team coach. Former Tranmere Rovers No. 2 Kevin Summerfield is named as the club's new assistant manager, and Paul Molesworth is named as the club's new chief scout. <laughs> <laughs> Players As of 10 December 2012, Source, Burton Albion, Soccerbase Ordered by position then squad number
Appearances starts and substitute appearances and goals include those in competitive matches in the Football League, the Football Conference, FA Cup, League Cup, Football League Trophy, FA Trophy and Conference League Cup for Burton Albion. Notes 1 Appearances include previous loan spell in 2011-12.2 Club Captain.3 Appearances and goals include two previous loan spells.4 Undisclosed fee reported by the Burton Mail to be £20,000.5 Appearances include previous loan spell in 2008.6 Player – Goalkeeping Coach. Oldest registered player in the Football League. Re-registered as player on 26 October 2012 due to injuries to Mark Oxley and Stuart Tomlinson. <laughs> Kit Supplier, Tag Leisure Sponsors, Mr. Cropper Last updated, 24 August 2012, Source, Burton Albion Club Shop Burton's home kit was retained from the previous season, as was the Mr. Cropper sponsorship brand. Tag Leisure continue to manufacture the club's matchday and training attire. The new away kit was revealed on 14 July before the preseason friendly with Aston Villa. It marks a return to the blue shirts, shorts and socks adopted by the team during the 2009 Conference National title winning season. It will remain in use until the end of the 2013-14 league season. Topic: Other information. Last updated the 22nd of August 2012 source Burton Albion FC. Topic: Results. Topic: Preseason friendlies. Topic: League Two. Topic: League Two results summary. Topic: Results by round. Topic FA Cup Topic League Cup Topic John Stone's Paint Trophy Topic Birmingham Senior Cup Appearances and goals not included in club statistics. Transfers <laughs> <laughs>